Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Tiana Michelle and in today's video I will be showing you how I safely remove press-on nails without damaging the press-ons or my real nails underneath so that I can reuse them. I will also be showing you how I maintain the health and length of my nails and showing you guys how I put on a fresh set of press-ons. When I want to reuse my press-on nails, I always start off with a bowl of warm water and then I'll add any oil to it. This is just some lemon oil, but you can use olive oil, coconut oil, anything you have on hand. I'll also put the oil around my cuticles before dipping my hands into the water. And before I forget, in case y'all are interested, I did get this press-on set from Target. It's the Ardell Press-On brand. I will leave these press-ons and the new ones that I put on in the description box down below. Now I'm just soaking my fingernails in the warm water so that the oil can loosen up that nail glue. When I feel the press-ons loosening up, I will slide my fingernails underneath the press-ons so that it can kind of loosen up some more. I'll also take a wooden stick that comes with most press-on nail packs to kind of gently slide it under there to help loosen it up more. That also helps the oil get underneath the nail. As the press-ons soak more, they will begin to easily fall off. I will soak my fingernails for about 15 minutes and I will remove the nails then because I just want to be extremely careful and sure that I won't damage my own nails because I do wear my real nails out often as well. A small part of the color on the press-on nail did come off into the water, but I don't think it'll be very noticeable if I decide to wear those nails again. Now that I'm done removing my press on nails, I am going to go ahead and dry my hands off because next I will take a nail file and gently remove the glue from my real nails. I usually use a nail buffer, but I think that I may have accidentally thrown it away before filming this video. I personally recommend using a nail buffer over a nail file, but this is all that I had at the time. Also, after removing the glue from my nails, I do go in with another nail file to reshape my nails. I personally prefer to reshape my nails as they grow longer because my nail base grows out wide and I just don't like how that looks on my fingers. You don't have to do this, but I noticed that it both looks better and it helps my nail length be stronger and last longer so I do that and I also go in with a nail strengthener and apply a coat of that to my nails before applying my new press-ons and this is a side note but I did record myself reshaping my nails and applying my nail strengthener but my camera did not record that footage because I ran out of storage I really need to buy a real camera because my iPhone is driving me crazy <laughs> But anyways, this is the nail strengthener that I use. It's by Sally Hansen. And also, this is how my nails look after I have pretty much, you know, taken care of them before putting on a new press-on set. I've learned that when you want to grow your nails long, it's really important to make sure that you are taking care of your body internally, such as drinking water, eating right, and taking your vitamins. It really helps. So this is the new set that I'll be putting on today. It's by The Nail Shop by SB and this set is called Brulee Latte. So I go ahead and flip my nails over and line them up in the order that I will be applying them. It just makes the process a lot faster for me because press-ons are fast and easy anyways. Then I'm using the nail glue by Ardell. In my opinion, it's the best one that I've used. When I apply the glue, I like to apply a thin coat to my real nail. 
and also a thin coat to the press on nail that way it lasts longer i typically wear my press on nails for two weeks sometimes they do pop off but you just take a you know a little glue and just pop it right back on you know they're not as secure as acrylic nails but acrylic nails are way too damaging for me so i personally would rather deal with a pop off so i can just pop on you know what i mean and this is the process that i use for each nail now the thing with ordering press on nails with companies that specifically make and customize them and sell them online is that sometimes the shipping may take a while because a lot of the times it's only one or two people designing these nails on their own. So I personally prefer to just pay the extra $15 for the rush fee. That way I get my nails in a week rather than waiting a month or longer. And when filming this video, I wanted to be really mindful of cost and what people can afford. The first set that I started the video off with, those are $7 and I really like to get those because they're such good quality and they're also really affordable. Now this set does cost $35 so they are on the pricier side but I just wanted to give people both of those options because I know not everyone wants to spend that much money on an item like and I'm one of those people it just depends on my mood at this point I'm almost done applying these press-ons so I'm just double checking to make sure they're secure and I'll be good to go if you guys um, have any recommendations for other places that I can get press-ons from please comment down below or let me know if you ever tried press-ons before or not because there's something that I'm really into at the moment. I'm absolutely in love with these colors. I think they're so flattering on my skin tone and I'm also digging the nail shape. So I'm going to insert some close-up shots so you guys can get a better view of it. I'm also going to end the video here. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. And remember that your support helped me out so much more than you know, especially as a smaller and newer channel. You know I'll leave that subscribe button up for you all. And I will see you guys next Friday. Bye-bye.